Hello, hello, and a wonderful day to you. I hope everybody is doing wonderfully, wonderfully, wonderfully. I know it's a great on passive day here as we go into a new week and a new era for uh, online life. Uh, some of you may be aware that Mr. Mufar, our CEO, spoke at length on Lynn and Ron's last Friday night le uh, live webinar. Uh, Lynn has also started a YouTube channel, so I've subscribed to her, and I am asking that you would do as well, you know, uh, support her. Uh, her link is in the uh, description box down below. <clears throat> Excuse me. So anyway, last Friday night, Mr. Mufara talked about quite a few things. Um, what I liked most was how philosophies of a purpose-driven life was shown to complement working methods uh, in a way, you know, models of business. <clears throat> Did you know that I recognized that same thing almost three years ago? Yeah, you can fact check that. Uh, go look at the ebook. About three pages from the end of it, I put a ver uh, excuse me, a verse from the Bible in there that mirrors the philosophy that I saw in On Passive back then, and I heard that same philosophy last Friday. And it was something like this, that whatever, and I'm, you know, I'm quoting now from the Bible. Uh, it's whatever is true, uh, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. And that's in Philippians uh, 4.8. But that's what on passive endorses so i hope you bear with me as i talk a little bit about how things are done in on passive because i'm liable to have uh, you know maybe a turn or two before i can actually bring it home or bring it in for a landing so to speak but i'm going to start by saying <clears throat> as i've had to my kids quite often regardless of what we do in life we are where we are because of decisions that we have made now in life as in business, we can take uh, uh, the opportunity, if we want to, to talk a good game, <clears throat> excuse me, and hope that maybe people don't uh, catch on or we can do things right through real value and allow folks to opt in to that value. Now, on passive has done that, the latter. That's what they've done. They've, they've chosen the high road, right? And I want to see if I can point, excuse me, that value up uh, and out because most people are looking at profits and products rather than the underlying goodness that props it all up. Now, founders should already see the heart in what we're doing. So this is mostly for those on the outside that we've, uh, I don't know, that, that are perhaps awakened to the idea that light wins and doing what's right because it's right for the greater good is uh, a very winning strategy and that's what on passive does and that strategy by the way has continued to mount uh some very on passive value right way beyond the initial promise that mr mufara made that's also true for heart uh so much so that we probably have more passion value now than any other business on the planet and that value was also outlined earlier on right uh, through Mr. Mufar's vision statement and that vision very clearly says that we're to be the best achievable uh, complete and unique business that ensures success is simple to use has the most value and does all that while providing sustainable benefits right and that's been true for on passive anyway since day one <clears throat> and you know what We've talked at length about founders' positions, um, and we've done that as a way to get folks to understand some of that value, because obviously we have a lot of value, right? But so much so that some of us have actually become fixated on the founder opportunity instead of promoting the vision. Some folks still use Ferraris and huge houses and stacks of money in their promotional material. <clears throat> You know, in their marketing on, on passive, uh, I'll tell you point blank, man, that's shameful. You need to stop that. That's not who we are. Of course, there's millions of people out there that will dump money into a marketing model looking for good ROI, right? Return on investment. And there's a lot of them at the cost of 90, 97 bucks. It's going to use that and treat it like it's a lottery. And yeah, we have a lot of those in here too. 
But we've reached well over a million active founder accounts. So to say that we don't need any more, well, that would be stating the obvious. And for this reason, we really couldn't care less about bringing in more lottery players, if you will, right? It's not something we want. We're, we're, we're not looking for people to buy products right now either. And nor are we looking for people that are looking solely for benefit or have that kind of a mindset, right? The, the greedy, me, me, me mindset. We are, however, looking for visionaries, people that can see the future before it actually manifests. We're looking for those that have higher levels of trust, uh, value, uh, desire, and are in touch with their own passions. We're looking for leaders. That's what we're looking for. And I mean, don't get it wrong, right? Don't get me wrong. On passive is going to fill your tank first so to speak. But we want leaders that are going to embrace our vision for the good of the human race. It's a vision that is complete and we're not building a single brand. So it is absolutely out there for everybody. And every member is going to be the hero of their own brand. Me, you, everybody that joins. And we're looking for people that can own the vision because people lack vision. They die, right? The Bible says you perish for lack of vision. Don't be one of them. So let's talk about one area of OnPassive to get an idea of the company uh, as, a, as a whole. Let's talk about marketing a little bit. We need to remember that marketing and technology is Mr. Mufara's talent, right? It's the hub of what he does, man. That is his wheelhouse, so to speak. The products, the services, and the infrastructure of OnPassive all radiate outward, if you will, like spokes, uh, in a, in, in a wheel, right? And that hub connects with and supports the founders. And the founders are what form the outer ring to complete the wheel, so to speak. And marketing allows the wheel to gain traction in, in, in the online space. And traffic is the lubricant that allows a much easier movement, right? So, in order for us to move ahead and move forward, we got to have trafficking to, to get all our products out and yada, 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 all that stuff, right? Anyway, Mr. Mufara will be the first one to tell you that traffic is an ongoing process. And that's probably where the majority of us, it certainly was true for me, got stuck, right? That's where that's where I fell short. That's where most of us will. You, you, you kind of run out of the grease, you know, and things stop moving. In other words, that's where we fail. That was true for me. But not for OnPassive. We know in OnPassive, if we, if we can get past the marketing challenge, there is a real good chance we're going to succeed. And that's why we're building the best traffic department on the planet with access to nearly 100 of the top most qualified sources for unlimited number of buyers. Additionally, our size gives us an economy to scale that allows us to get traffic on demand at an incredible ROI simply because we're in at a very, very low cost effective level. So we know where the traffic is and we know where the audiences are. And by this, mean we mean that we're getting people that have a history of buying. That's what you want, right? We have an incredible offer, and that offer is perfected like nowhere else simply because of our AI and because of our processes or processes, depending on how you want to say it. But we have it all, all the variables and all the elements connected in the right way. And we have them all together, and we control it. Like I said earlier, it's an on-demand thing, right? There's no limit for the traffic that we can get. And with our new tech and technology, we can potentially handle all the variables very effectively with a very good profit margin. You know, we kind of believe Einstein when he said that insanity is trying to get different results by doing the same thing. Um, loosely translated for the new age, it means that the problems we have, they can't be fixed with the same frequency, if you will, of thinking that we use to create them. We got to elevate our thinking to get the right solution. And this is especially true for marketing. It's in a, uh, a very dynamic uh, field and uh, marketing is a very dynamic process. And if you think for one minute or one second that using old tech and old ideas from uh, a few years ago is going to work, you better think again, friend. It's a new world with a boatload of moving parts. And if you can't sync up the variables 
It's not going to work. And when we talk traffic, we don't just mean getting visitors to your website. I mean, that's good, but that's only one small part. When on passive talks traffic, we're talking targeted traffic based on known customer needs. We're talking exclusive traffic, meaning that the traffic sent to you is sent only to you. It's queried and queued for your site, and it's not sold 25 times a day to some other client. Incidentally, when we market to and from and for your site, we brand you. You and your prospects never get a glimpse of or hear a whisper about or see anything about on passive. You are branded. And on the flip side of that, that means your prospects won't be getting offers from everybody in the world either. They get offers only from you because you are an exclusive lead for them and vice versa. Now, when we're talking traffic, we're also talking relevant traffic. This means the traffic that you get wants your products and their needs are relevant to your website and the products you offer. We're also talking about qualified traffic, which means that the customers that you're sent want and are able and have the means or the wherewithal to pay for the products you offer. And we're talking about AI-driven traffic, meaning that the customers sent to you are done in a very smart way to know what day of the week it is, whether it's a holiday or not, what time of the day it is, whether it's a business day or not, and whether it's doing business hours on that day for that region, and a whole lot of other things that ensure that you get optimum sales opportunities. So, why is all that important? Well, <laughs> Because not all traffic is the same. Because every company that you have probably ever done business with has sold you something, has put you on a list to sell you everything that you never wanted simply because you bought something one time. You get signed up automatically for newsletters and deals and sales or upsells or something that you never agreed to. And if somebody used your device, like your laptop, to buy one thing, pff, game over. Man, those nasty cookies, they're going to make sure that you get all sorts of offers for all sorts of things that you don't even care about. I mean, how many times have you opted in for one kind of product and started receiving other offers that aren't even uh, remotely relevant to your original inquiry? And maybe you even started getting offers via text by the phone. Man, I'm telling you, yeah, somebody sold your information. Happens to me all the time. Well, not with unpassive. We don't think that way, and we don't use those types of tactics. We also have uh, consideration for what we do with and how we treat our traffic. We're not using cold autoresponders that simply push customers to a product or multiple sites. We're using our own marketing platforms with our own exclusive results, and we're even using our own tracking systems. We're using a sophisticated AI-driven bot with emotional intelligence that will correctly place the crust customer at the right website, with the right products, at the right time, in the right time zone, with the right language, and the right currency, and everything else, and then let the website know, hey, the customer's there. So when we're talking traffic, we also understand that follow-up is a do-or-die scenario, and we do it. Our AI will cross the T's and dot the I's through a sophisticated, complete, and timely follow-up. We're ahead of the curve, and you're going to have access to AI tools with incredible accuracy so that you're the hero without all the heavy lifting. And it's not just the AI tools. It's everything. This means as an individual, as a business owner, as a company, you'll have the ability to buy an unlimited number of businesses or packages for your website through the subscriptions. As a default, that website is going to change every day. When you go to that website tomorrow, it ain't going to be the same one it was today because the layout and other things are going to have changed, right? The same thing for the next day and the day after that for 365 days a year. It's not static. That's what I'm saying. Like most websites, it's totally dynamic and it changes, but it's always yours and it's always got your products branded to you. It's coded ethically and fairly to you with impeccable sophistication, and it is beautiful. And you're going to have lots of platforms that allow you to have your own shops. I mean, you think about some of the things we got going on here, right, with O-Commerce and Obless and Academy and O-Create and O-Mart. 
and a lot more. And each of those are going to have your identity, your domain or your website or your cause associated with it. You can actually create unlimited websites, each having its own name as a subdomain of your main domain. Boy, that's a mouthful. <laughs> They're unlimited. They don't have caps. There's no mention of on passive or the details of our business products or scope. This means that you can able to have hundreds of websites if you want them at no additional cost and in practically no time at all. I mean, if you're active. And these are all going to be with your identity. These are yours, branded to you, and you are the hero without hardly lifting a finger. Now, you know, having said all that, is it any wonder that we're getting so much flack, right, from the naysayers? I mean, what we're doing is insane, right? Nobody has done this before. Under CEO Ash Mufara's leadership, no other company on the planet has put its heart, its will, and its resources into one place with a benevolent bent for the greater good like on Passive has. It really has been done for you. So when someone asks you about your site and wants to know how you do it, you can tell them unequivocally, I don't. It's all done for me. All the site work is being done for you and your time spent on the site is minimal because guess what? Sipping a cold one in the backyard or at the beach is a whole lot more relaxing. But the work of getting all the variables together and getting the market relevant right, to what you're doing to create a sustainable business is always being done for you. And once you have it, it'll bring instant results. And on passive, it's going to help you with that even in getting the first three into your team quickly, which team we now call lineage, right? Anyway, so that you can very quickly attain what we call a break-even point, meaning that once you have three people in your network, right, you're no longer responsible for paying the monthly subscription. It's paid for you. And whether this happens in week one or week three or week five, who knows? Who cares? It's going to happen. And all these members, they're not above or below anybody. They're just a circle of members in your team, in your base, in your network, creating net worth for you. And by growing your network, you automatically create um, what we call a second generation leadership team uh, with your members because they now duplicate the process by getting others to join or they opt in for on passive to do it for them. Either way, they're also in your network. And this means that you're the recipient of an ever-growing, totally unlimited residual income. But remember, it's about lining up all the marketing variables we talked about, right? That includes the platform and even the timing of our offers. And we'll take care of all that for you. I mean, face it. If somebody sends me something uh, at odark30 on a platform and I'm not watching it, what are the odds that I'm even going to reply or respond? <laughs> this is where knowing the currency and the time zones and all that stuff makes a big difference. This is the extent to which on passive will go to brand you and make you successful. The only thing that you need to bring with you is a good attitude and a willingness to get active in some way or another. And this is just one area I'm talking about. We're just talking about marketing. On passive is equally diligent in lining up all the variables for all of the facets of this business as well as its products and its platforms. All of them. You've never seen anybody stack the cool like Mr. Mufara stacks the cool. I'm telling you, success is so, man, it's stacked up so high in your favor. You couldn't lose if you went comatose after you joined. And I'm telling you with all certainty that you will never ever get anyone to complete a business like this and put it into use with the perfection and the sophistication of on passive and this is how on passive rolls in everything we do we're not a quiet company our impact will be global and we really will attract the public through the value we offer by the millions eventually billions yeah with a b and we have more than a million active accounts right now in pre-launch. Can you imagine what will happen once we open to the public? Don't stay on the outside. If you're someone that can grasp a vision, if you can get active and even do some vision casting on your own, we want you now as a founder. 
On passive is guaranteeing your success. But if you're just a squirrel trying to get a nut, then perhaps founders eh, might be a bit high powered for you. And that's all right. You can join us after launch. You're going to be in very good company and you will do very well. So think it over. You have, I believe, probably seven weeks or less to join because the door giving access to the founder position is closing forever. So you need to take advantage of the time that you have. If somebody has already invited you, get back with them and join that team. If not, there's a link that you can use to join in the description box below. And you can also go to uh, onpassive.com and join from there. But whatever you decide to do, just know that on passive wishes only blessings and blessings for you and your entire family. Thank you.